Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a SIM card that is stuck in the Pixel 3. Just like the Pixel 2 and the Galaxy S9, it looks like it's easy for some customers to get the SIM card stuck in there. Regardless, I'm going to show you how to remove this. So the tools that you will need will be a T3 driver, a plastic pick or flat blade of some sort, a playing card, a dental pick of some sort, and some heat. So the first thing we're going to do is heat up the edges of the phone, and then after that we're going to get a blade to help lift up the back glass. Once it's lifted up, we can put a card in there to help cut through the adhesive. The adhesive is pretty strong, so don't worry if you have to use more heat. Once you've heated up the edges enough, you can start cutting through the adhesive with this card. Again, this adhesive is very strong, so I added more heat as I went on. I always recommend lifting up the right side, left side, and the bottom side. Just make sure on the left side not to cut through the fingerprint scanner. Once you cut through the adhesive, you want to lift up the back to the left, like a book. Now there's a bunch of adhesive laying around, but we'll deal with that in the future. So start taking out these screws, because we want to lift up this back panel. So remove these two screws from the black panel, so we can lift out the fingerprint scanner. When you unplug the fingerprint scanner, make sure to use a plastic pick. Nothing metal. Next, what we want to do is remove the bottom screws and then start removing some of these top screws, like shown, except for the one near the camera. Now we can remove the metal and plastic panel that has the wireless charger on it. Remove this cable right here because that's the battery cable. Next, we want to remove this other cable right here and start lifting up on the speaker assembly. Since it is a water-resistant phone, it is going to be a little bit difficult to remove this, but that's because there's a lot of adhesive holding it down. Once you loosen up the adhesive, there is another cable under here that we are going to unplug. Now we can lift this over to have access to the SIM card tray. You can remove this little mesh piece to make it easier to remove the SIM card. Now the interesting thing about this one is that it's not actually a SIM card, it's just a memory card. Which is funny because Google doesn't allow for memory cards. Maybe they should. Either way, what you're going to use is use a plastic pick or the dental pick to start removing the SIM card. But be careful because you don't want to damage the SIM card. You also don't want to damage the contacts under it either. So this memory card was really easy, and the SIM card might be a little bit difficult to remove, but even then if you put a nano SIM card, it'll be fairly easy to remove. Once that's removed, you can now put the phone back together. We can start by putting that little mesh piece back in place, if you did remove it, and then plug in that bottom cable. Now we can put that bottom speaker in place, and if this little plastic thing falls off, make sure that goes in the right place too. Now to hold this down, we're going to put in all these bottom screws. Now to hold the speaker down, we're going to put in these four bottom screws, along with that little metal piece. Now we're going to do the same thing with the wireless charging piece, just make sure to plug in the battery before you do that. Make sure that these screws go back in order, and also make sure that this metal piece goes back in place as well.
Now before we put the back on, we want to remove all the adhesive and add our own adhesive. Again, this adhesive is very sticky, so it's going to be very difficult to remove it, and it will take some time. We also want to do the same thing with the back panel. Now we're going to grab some double sided tape and put it around the edges of the phone. Once you put it around the edges of the phone, cut it out so then it fits perfectly on there, and make sure it's not overlapping on any cables. As a precaution, I'm going to use the T7000 glue because the phone is water resistant and I want it to retain some water resistance. Now we can plug in the fingerprint scanner like shown and put that black piece back in place along with the two screws that go inside of it. Now we can set this back panel on and turn on the phone. Remember if you use glue you'll need at least 30 minutes for it to dry. Now we can see if the sim card tray does work and it looks like it does. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this. And hit that bell button so then YouTube reminds you when a new video does come out. Thanks for watching.